is Fallout 4 Possible, Episode 2, Cryostasis. Hey guys, Piggy Plays here, bringing you some more Fallout 4. Now for today's Fall Is Fallout 4 Possible, we will be talking about whether or not Sean and the sole survivor would have survived their cryostasis. Now first, we have to remember that cryonics is just one branch of the larger field of cryogenics. Cryogenics being the field of physics in which they study the effect that extreme cold has on objects. Cryonics, though, is the subfield of cryogenics in which they st study the possibility of either prolonging someone's life through uh, putting them in a cryogenic pod or something similar, or putting someone in who has already died from an uncurable disease into cryo cryostasis and with plans to reawaken them and attempt to reanimate them once a cure for their disease has been found. Now, for the sake of not confusing the pants off of you guys, I will just refer to all of it as cryogenics. First, we have to ask the question, is it even possible? Now, as strange as it may seem, it is very possible in the short term at least. There have been many reports of people who have been trapped in the snow or ice, having their hearts restarted up to four days after death. It can also be used in hospitals at times, although it is not a common practice. Some doctors, in dire situations, please excuse the pun, will pump large amounts of saline into the patient's body so that it cools and the heart slows without any permanent damage, most of the time at least. So, we know that in the short term, it can work. Now, what about the long term? Well, we have not managed it as of yet, but it is theoretically possible and is being experimented on uh, as we speak, most likely, or uh, they're running on a test or something. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm just a guy that looks stuff up on the internet. Yeah. Well, we have not. Now, I am by no means an expert in physics or biology, as I just said. I'm just a guy that looks stuff up on the internet. So please do not quote me on any of this. For all I know, I could be completely wrong, and uh, aliens could have invaded the Earth two million years ago, and we could all just be in the Matrix right now. For all I know, I, I don't know. Pizza. Uh, that was random. But yeah, anyways, back to the video. Now, as for the way that Sean and the Soul Survivor were put into cryostasis, their body functions were merely slowed, not stopped completely. So, as such, they were put on life support. This makes this much easier, even though it is still next to impossible to do any accurate calculations with an infant due to the fact that infants, for quite obvious reasons, have never been tested with cryogenics. Only a handful of humans have ever actually been tested with cryogenics, and those are normally very rich people that are absolutely terrified of death. So, as such, they were put on life support. This makes proof of this much easier, seeing as nuclear power was most likely used to power the vault, seeing as the path that the Fallout universe went down, and how almost everything, including their cars, were powered by nuclear reactors or something similar. The power would no doubt last far beyond the 210 years that the sole survivor was in stasis, as well as the 150 years that John was in stasis. Now you may think that the sole survivor was merely lucky that his cryopod didn't uh, malfunction like the rest of them. But if unlike a lot of people, you paid attention to what Kellogg said, instead of just freaking the crap out about your wife being killed and Sean being kidnapped, you'll remember that he just didn't bother to cut the other cryopods back on, 
which in my opinion is pretty stupid. Why would you only have one backup? I mean, one backup versus an entire vault pool. Which would you pick? Now, if your heart is mainly being slowed and you have nuclear powered life support to keep you alive, I think it would be safe to say that yes, this part of Fallout 4 is quite possible. Now, I'm sorry if this episode seems a bit off and under detailed, but there just isn't much that I know about this field and I could not find very much about this rather obscure branch of physics and biology on the internet. And seeing as my library is rather outdated, I could not find very much at all. But don't worry, next Saturday's episode will be much longer and more detailed. We will be discussing the computers in Fallout, if they should still be working, and if so, how and why. Well, I'll see you guys next time. But for now, this is Piggy Plays, signing off.